Today I want to show you my top five chipping drills. Now the thing about drills is they should be fairly specific to your technical requirements. So it's kind of hard to narrow down a very small group that's applicable to everybody, but I think I've done it. So before we get going, don't forget to like, subscribe. It helps me and it's going to help you going forwards because the content in this channel is going to be driven by you, the viewer. The more viewers we have, the more content we'll get to answer more and more questions. So please subscribe, like it, let's get stuck in. Drill number one, the T drill. When you put a T in the ground, ball on top, with just a very flat section at the top of the wooden T sticking out above the grass. The goal here is to clip the ball, the piece of wood, and not touch a single blade of grass. And what you're training here is the control of depth of low point, or how far underneath the ball the club travels. Once you've executed one well, you go to a ball on the turf, try and strike that same distance, one, two millimeters underneath the golf ball, and see how good your strike is. There's ball and tee, sounded pretty good. Into the ball on the turf and repeat. That is a tee draw. The next drill is the two ball drill. Yeah, you can see three balls. The middle ball is just to measure the distance between the two. So we're gonna get rid of the center ball. And the goal here is to try and strike both balls correctly. To do that, you're going to have to get control of the bottom of your swing, right? It's going to be a fairly flat U-shape, a long way away from a V. You never get it totally flat, but fairly flat at the bottom. Flat enough that I can contact one ball, have the club close enough to the ground to get the second ball, and get a flight on both of them. Next up is the trail arm drill. Right arm for a righty, left arm for a lefty. The trail arm is maybe the most destructive part of the body in chipping that I see amongst players that struggle. All right, so having a passive right arm, uh, supporting your movement more with your pivot, your body, your turn, and not having to do as much work with your right arm is massive, and the right arm drill does, does just that. So take your grip on the club as normal, remove your left hand, important to do it this way because you don't hold it at the top with your right hand, you hold it down here somewhere, we've got to make it as golf-like as possible. Left hand goes behind your back, a couple of practice swings, you'll suddenly feel the club start to feel pretty heavy, and then try and strike it trail arm only. And what you'll find is your strike is probably better than normal if you struggle, but observe the follow-through position. Pay attention to how your arm's positioned there because what you're going to find compared to a two-handed shot is it's going to be very, very different in the way it relates to your body. Because your body's done more work, your right arm's done less, your finished position will tell you a story. Try and learn from that. Next up is your favorite T-Rex drill. What would a Tyrannosaurus Rex look like if it played golf? Well, apart from being terrifying. Right, T-Rex has very short arms, they can't extend, they can't move anywhere, it's kind of pinned to the body. So you kind of hold, have to hold the club something like this, there wouldn't be much wrist action going on, they'd be really, really elongated or lengthened out, elbows would be up here, and all he could do is use his body or his rib cage to turn and power the club head. All right, so be a T-Rex for a moment. And what you're gonna learn is how to use your body much more effectively in the chipping stroke. So here's a drill called up the plane. Uh, we set an alignment stick on the ground on your ball target line, another alignment stick at the end of it on the same kind of angle as your club, just slightly inside the ball target line. Ball maybe 12 inches back from the stick on the ground. And the goal here is to work the club head up the plane on the follow through. Now it's gonna require some body rotation. It's also gonna require some releasing of the club head. You can't uh, execute this and hold on and drag. You can't push everything to the right. It has to work upwards and inwards on plane with your body and your release. So that was my top five chipping drills for technique. Now, in the comments below, please leave your feedback, let me know how you get on, or alternatively, leave a comment and let me know what your favorite drill is to improve your chipping technique. Maybe I can share it with everyone else.